Uh, I'ma keep that shit a hundred K. Eh. Uh, I'ma keep that shit a hundred K. Eh. Like Got a feeling I don't finish now, bro. Uh, I, I feel it in my marrow. <laughs> I feel it in my bone. What's, What's going, going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Kim and K. I'm Kim, she's K, and today we're reacting to Gang Vaughn's darkest moments on Twitch. I don't really, I'm not really sure what that means. Like times he looks like a demon on demon on twitch i don't know i didn't know the nigga but was on twitch we just want to say thank you guys so much for 4k yes thank you guys we're already about to hit 5k when we just hit 4k this month and that's so unbelievable get how us to fast... 10k by tomorrow okay that's so unbelievable how, how yeah. fast we grew and we just want to yeah. thank you guys so much and we love Appreciate making content it. for you we take ah. everything you say into consideration yeah. yes let's get right into the video ah. Ah. Based on rumors from the streets, take everything with a grain of salt. Rest in peace, terrible. Um, they want to know if you do a feature with Model, P5, Malcolm. You know them? Nah. All right, never mind. There, we already. He already told us about Tuka. He said Tuka, one of his favorites to work with. Right, they yeah. want to know about the Gleesh Place video. Oh, mm -hmm. Gleesh Place coming soon. And I do a feature with all them niggas. Tell them just send them money. Yeah, we need that bag. 100 racks. 100 racks of feet. Oh, do they got it? Don't get me started on this bitch. I be chicken. Y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know me. I be chicken on this bitch. Better the names who want to do the features again? Uh, he'd have to scroll up. I can't even see hey, that shit. Hey, y'all, listen. Did you catch the names? No. I heard Tuka. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Are they just interviewing him about something? What I'm seeing is that that white dude don't know what the fuck he's, he's talking saying, about. He's saying... I heard <laughs> him ask about a music video. He said it's dropping soon. Yeah, with Model Tuka. Somebody else. But what he was naming were uh, the dead people he so-called killed. Oh. That's why I said Tuka and Model. I know Tuka and Model. I don't know what else he said. So apparently he thinks those are alive people that are rappers. And he said, when are you going to do a feature with them? <gasps> yeah, yeah, he don't know what he's talking about. When are you going to do a feature with them? Yeah. What? Like, he said, I don't need, you need to get some money for it. I don't they got it. <laughs> he said, y'all don't know me. Okay, yeah. bro. For the name, she said, want to do the We'll get a clip of it and we'll, we'll send it to you. Um, All right, send me names. Listen to the name. Um, they want to know if you'd ever do a song with Young and Ace, Jada Youngin, or and K. I don't know who that K are. No, say the other name. You say it. You gotta scroll up so I can read that. Can you do that for me? If you do a feature with Model, Tyreek, P5, or Malcolm. Malcolm Stucky. I remember that name. Still the fuck. Look out, folks. Look. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just that's a no, right? I'm assuming that's a no. Hey, folks, I'm talking to fuck you on some police shit. <laughs> okay. That's, why are you telling me that? Oh, because it was mm -hmm. loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. On October 8th, 2020, King Vaughn made a guest appearance on Rolling Loud's Twitch show. The oh, Leak, that was A live it. show that discusses all of the upcoming releases in the hip hop oh. industry. The first half of the show goes as planned, with the hosts asking King Vaughn various questions about his upcoming project, Welcome to Oblock, and his plans for the future. But it wasn't until the very end of the stream where things started to get really, really dark. A user suddenly appeared in the Twitch chat under the alias They know the user and everything. and proceeded to write this message in the chat. At Rolling Loud, ask Vaughn if he'd do a feature with Model, Tyreek, P5, or Malcolm. Mm. The hosts begin to relay this message to King Vaughn, but his reaction to it seems very odd, yeah. doesn't it? Um, they want to know if you do a feature with Model, P5, Malcolm. You know them? Nah. Alright, never mind. While definitely confused, it almost seems like this question mm -hmm. shocked King Vaughn, almost like it put him on the spot. This awkward moment fortunately doesn't last for long, as it seems like the hosts may have realized that King Vaughn must not know who Model, Tyreek, P5, or Malcolm are, and diffuse the situation by suddenly bringing up Tuka, a 15-year-old rival gang member of King Vaughn, who wow, passed away Tuka? after being shot at a bus stop back in 2011. Yeah, we already, he already told us about Tuka. He said Tuka one of his favorites to work with. Hmm. 
He the did. The conversation then proceeds forward with the hosts asking King Vaughn when the music video for Gleesh Place is dropping. Vaughn quickly responds by letting them know that the video is coming soon, then suddenly refers back to the now irrelevant question of whether or not he would do a feature with Modell, P5, Tyreek, or Malcolm. Four names that he seems to have never heard of. Hey, they yeah. want to know about the Gleesh Place video. Oh, Gleesh Place is coming soon. And I'll do a piece with all of them. <laughs> Tell them just send them money. I don't think they got it. <laughs> now, if you notice, King Vaughn, who was fairly calm and relaxed yeah. throughout the whole stream, is now extremely yeah, energetic. Yeah, soon, soon as he heard the names, bro, he was confused at first. I'm like, I do a feature with all of them niggas. Yeah, now he's tweaking. Yeah, now, now bro is amper. That's wicked. That is wicked. That's White wicked. boys don't even know what they're talking about for real. I don't think he killed some of them niggas, though. Probably. Really? Probably, he, probably his gang members killed some, and he probably killed some of them. Yeah. That's crazy, oh God. Them Twitch streamers, Chabby, searching Chabby for his friends while crazy. repeatedly asking Y'all knew, they knew to say the name of the game. Better than they went through the features again? Uh... He'd have to scroll up. I can't even see hey, that shit. Hey, y'all, listen to the names you said. One through the feature. We'll we'll get a clip of it. And we'll ta we'll send it to you. Um, All right, send me names. Listen to the names. Say one through the feature. When the names are read off to King Vaughn's friend, he friends, don't Vaughn, know. He has no reaction. Just gives a blank stare to Oblock Louie, who is sitting across from them. Um, they want to know if you'd ever do a song with Young and Ace, Jada Youngin, or and. I don't know who that K or No, say the other day you see it. Hold on. Right, it was man. if you do a feature with Modell, Tyreek, P5, or Malcolm. Hmm. Vaughn Bro, then shows laughing. Louis' reaction. The best way I could describe it is annoyed. Who the fuck? <laughs> look out, folks, look out. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's a no, right? I'm assuming that's a no. Hey, folks, I'm talking to fuck you up the police shit. <laughs> so now yeah. you're probably wondering, who are Modell, P5, Tyreek, and Malcolm? Well, let me tell you. Modell. On April 28th, 2012, a Chicago man who went by the name of King Doc was on his way King to the nearby corner store when he was fatally shot multiple times in the chest and arms. He spent his last moments crawling into mm. a tall patch of grass, right next to the corner he was just trying to get a drink from. King Doc's body wouldn't be discovered until moments later, after his 16-year-old cousin stumbled his across cousin. the cousin. That 16-year-old was oh. Modell McCambry. This traumatic situation changed Modell forever. And was a major oh i was confused i was thinking yeah, I the first was Odell. <laughs> I, I mean was, Modell. yeah i was thinking the first dude that died was Modell. that's what you thought too yeah that's his cousin Modell found him so my dad was cousin. a 16 year old okay okay turning point in his life Modell began to get more and more involved in the streets by associating himself with more established gang members such as fbg duck mm -hmm. and ki this led to Modell becoming a full-time member of the stl ebt <laughs> Then almost six months after the death of his cousin King Doc, Modell himself was shot multiple times in the chest on the 6300 block of South Rhodes Avenue on October 13th, 2012. Right the group of shooters left Modell in the street, only to have his cousin Miles run from a nearby house in an attempt to try and save his life. The group saw Miles try and save his cousin, and began to put more shots into Miles' back. The two relatives were soon rushed to a nearby hospital, where Modell's cousin Miles was told he would never be able to walk again and would need a catheter for the rest of his life. Modell, on the other hand, did not make it. He's the case they, see, he, they seen his cousin trying to help him, then they shot the cousin, and now he can't walk. Modell can't walk? Modell's dead. Oh, okay. His cousin can't walk. Not nah, because he said his cousin ran from a nearby house to try to save him, and then they shot him in the back. Aww. You're crying. No, nah, I yawned. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is still unsolved to this day. P5 crack. crack. That was he known for, like, slang and dope. P5, also known as Crack, was a member of Jaro City, a Chicago gang that rivals King Vaughn. He was a well-known drug dealer in the area, and on the morning of October 30th, 2012, he was planning on meeting up with a fellow customer to sell him some product on the 6200 mm -hmm. yeah. block of South Gerhard Avenue. At 9.13 a.m., P5 arrived at the location, but instead of being greeted by one customer, he was met with five. 
P5 immediately knew this was a setup and quickly turned around to run away from the situation. But unfortunately, one of the members of the group ran P5 down, shooting him in the back. That's the that's the what's it called? That's the that's the danger of being a drug dealer. What? Like people people could set you up real easy. You're right. Somebody could be like, oh, blow it, meet me here. At You're right. Night. Or they can snitch on you. Yeah. He said he didn't snitch in the hood. No. Fuck no. <laughs> well, I know, but like if they yeah. wanted to, they could. Yeah, fuck. That's, that's just wild. They, so he met up with dude and five, he saw five niggas. Wicked. Over onto the ground. That's wicked. The rest of the group then saw the niggas mental. Shooting him six times in the face and nine six times, times in the face. Six times in the face. The aftermath of this tragic event was reportedly so bad that the police had an extremely tough time identifying oh the body. God. This case, just like the previous one, is still unsolved to this day. Now to a developing story. A shooting leaves one person dead, four others injured. This happened at an apartment complex in southwest Atlanta. Atlanta. Natasha, what are we learning about their conditions this morning? Well, Christy, police tell us this all started at a house party last night on Lantern Drive. A fight broke out between two over. large groups, and at some point, a man opened fire, hitting five people. Police tell us one man was found dead at the party. Four others were rushed here to Grady. We're told the victim's ages range from 17 to 20. Investigators are trying to determine a motive and what happened leading up to that shooting. On March 31st, 2019, Tyreek Levat, along with four other individuals, were shot at a house party in the Hidden Village Apartments located in southwest Atlanta. Out of the five people who were shot, 27-year-old Tyreek did not survive. Hmm. And once again, this case is still unsolved to this day. So he, I know his. I know I, yeah, we, we watched him on the video. Malcolm Stuckey. He was mean mugging. Mm. On May 29th, 2014, yeah. a man by the name of Malcolm Stuckey Damn. was attending a house party on the 5700 block of South LaSalle Street. How did he Street, get all this information? Two men began to open fire on the house. Mm. Malcolm, who was standing outside on the front porch, was shot in the head and didn't make it. The case of Malcolm Stuckey went unsolved for almost two months, but on July 20th, 2014, a man by the name of Big Mike was arrested and charged for the murder. Two days later, another suspect was arrested and charged for the same reason. Both men sat in the Cook County Jail for over three years until the trial started. Mm. And within those three years, Big Mike eventually told authorities incriminating details of what happened on May 29, 2014, in hopes to obtain a deal with prosecutors for lesser time. The other suspect refused to cooperate with authorities and managed to stay silent the whole time. In the end, Big Mike was sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated battery with a firearm and an additional 12 years for Damn. backing out of some type of deal with prosecutors. So he snitched and he still got The other it. suspect was acquitted Damn. of all charges and was able to walk out of the court. That's King Vaughn. Man. That other suspect was King Vaughn. Yeah. So now that you know who Modell, Tyreek, P5, and Malcolm are, the question still stands. Why did King Vaughn react that way to those names? Yeah. Well, because according to the Chicago hip hop fanatics, King Vaughn may have something to do with all four of these murders. They made it seem so scary. Bro. Yeah. 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 Damn, Modell got killed in art and crack. Yeah, cause Stay he be, tuned. You know who made Jaja game? Oh, crack crew. R.I.P. Crack in my bell. I remote it one day, one eye. Fucking what happened to him, straight sucker. How many halos did you do? Oh, hollows. I think that's what he meant. I remember his. The dude he killed his sister got mad. Like, yeah. oh, he's a rapper now? Y'all let him free? He said, I'll never listen to him. I wouldn't need to keep the butt if he killed my, kill my uh, brother. It's gonna be annoying hearing the songs though. If she's at a club and they play King Von. It is crazy. Like, yeah, that's, that's the end of the, that is crazy. That's fucked up. She, everybody probably like, you know, we all love King Von music and all that. She yeah. hates that shit. Yeah. To her core and, and heart. you don't know, it could be playing in an Uber you get in. It could be playing in the club. Yeah, he King was Von on the rest. songs everywhere. Yeah, what was it? Uh, what's that? Took it to the oven? Yeah, that yeah. was everywhere. She can't use social media for real, for real. Uh-uh. It's all over social media. But, like, sorry, I keep yawning. I'm, I'm tired. But, like. Yeah. 
He's a know. demon. He that's what he's a, a he's a killer. He, he said. Yeah, he said that. That's four four niggas that he may or may not. I mean, he, he's dead now, so it don't really matter. Probably did take. Yeah, him. that's that he was a part of. And that's why niggas were cracking me up. They ain't know what they were saying. Get them white they niggas, said, bro. They said P five, two cat, <laughs> and Malcolm. You <laughs> said, are you gonna know future with those guys? And it's coming. Is that coming out? Like, like, what? Yeah, like okay. They said, they, the chat took advantage of them. No. Ah! That film. The chat took <laughs> the chat took advantage of them for real. Yeah, oh god, cause they, cause they ain't knew he ain't no shit. Mm-hmm. But alright, that's it for today, guys. If you want us to do more King Oh, you go ahead, go ahead. If you want us to do more King Vaughn, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you think of this video. Do you think King Vaughn had something to do with all four of those deaths? Did you? Did you? Did he? Did he? Did he? Did he? Yeah, I think he did. Alright, that's all for today. We love you guys Make so sure much. Like, Thank you for 4K. Bye! Bye! Bye.